Hello, I'm Michelle Lang Raymond, the campus pastor here at Warner Pacific University. And this video is being posted at a pretty unusual time for our campus, actually for our city, our country, the whole world, really. Over the next few weeks, while we are under this kind of mandated social distancing policy, uh, we thought it was important that as a campus, we find ways to stay connected. And so me and the campus ministries team, we're gonna try as best we can to produce a series of quicks, uh, quick chapels that we hope will serve uh, to keep us encouraged and inspired and again connected as a Christ-centered community. We'll start with a simple song. Um, I hope to share an encouraging message and then maybe we'll end when necessary with some announcements. Matter of fact, at the end of this video, we'll have an announcement about how Campus Ministries is reevaluating um, our faith and service policy. And so stick around for that, for that information. Will praise him. 
I was on my way to work, and like normal, I went to my local um, Starbucks just down the street from the school. And as soon as I pulled into the parking lot, um, it was clear that things were not normal. Where there's normally like lots of people gathering outside of the Starbucks and coming in and out, there weren't today. You could tell today that the people stayed home by choice or by uh, mandate. And so it was very clear that things were not normal. But still, I pulled up into the drive through and uh, to my surprise and delight, a barista came onto the speaker to take my order. And I couldn't help but to ask, you know, was the store closed? And she said, uh, she goes, no, the store is open. You can come in and you can place an order, but you can't stay. Um, and immediately as she said that, she started to apologize. She said, I'm sorry, probably three, maybe four times, how she was sorry to even have to share that news, but that was the reality, that you could come through the drive through or you could come inside and place an order, but you just couldn't stay. And in that moment, I tried to sort of you know, assure her that it was completely okay, that, that that's the day and the time that we're living in, and that she didn't have anything to apologize for. Um, and even though I said that, she apologized again. I came on up to the window to pick up my order, and almost as soon as I got up there, she apologized again because she hated to have to tell people that they can't stay. Now, mind you, I don't really care because I go through the drive through on purpose. I want to get my drink and I want to go. But I understood that, there was, that this was really important and significant to her that she had to tell people that they couldn't come in um, and congregate. And again, I tried to reassure her, it's okay, be free. We understand that this is the point and this is the moment that we're living in. And as I was trying to reassure her, she apologized again and started to actually cry. I wanted so bad to like reach out and touch her and just assure her that everything's okay, but I remember just that quick, I can't touch her right now. That's against this idea of social distancing. And I couldn't touch her and all I could do was just try to assure her, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And in that moment, it occurred to me um, that right now more than ever, we have to try and be as human and humane to each other as possible, to be as kind and as gracious and just a little bit more human to each other as possible. Maybe even, as some would say, be a little more Christ-like to each other. The song that the campus ministries team just sang is, He is Exalted. And essentially, he is exalted means that Christ is elevated, that he maybe is even magnified. And I would encourage us all in this time where we have to distance, distance ourselves from each other, that we take this as a time where we can actually elevate and magnify the way of Christ. When we're face-to-face -face or online or maybe in many of the Zoom meetings that you're going to be called into or some of the conference calls that you're going to have to make, maybe right before you, you, you engage with someone else, you ask yourself, what can I do to exalt, to elevate, to magnify the way of Christ right now? And then whether it's in a simple way or even in something substantial, be courageous and live into whatever that Christ-like way is in that moment. I'll leave you with this scripture. It comes from Matthew chapter 22. It's a moment when the people who are supposed to have all the answers um, approach Jesus and they ask him, you know, one of these great life questions. And they say, what is the greatest commandment? It's a pretty familiar passage. And even though Jesus could have responded with something way more complicated and way more philosophical, um, he says something really simple. 
He says, here's the greatest commandment. He says, love the Lord God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And then he says, the second commandment is just as meaningful and as good as the first. And he says what? Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. I encourage us all right now, just as Jesus would say, everything else is relative to those two things, that you love the Lord God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul, and that you would love your neighbor, including yourself, as yourself. Everything else is going to be relative to that, especially in times like these. We'll try to keep these videos going as, as best we can under the circumstances, um, but please do chime in, check in, maybe even share it. Um, God bless you. Be safe, be healthy, and we'll talk to you soon.